Hello fellas, it's Gav again um, with another update. Uh, this time I've got a, yet another project to add to the collection. There are some guys that are actually uh, scaling down on their projects and I seem to be uh, getting, getting more numerous ones. Uh, anyway, this is a project I'm probably going to be starting for the Winter Warmer Challenge from Tabletop Commanders. Uh, and I'm going to call it the Broad 14s. Uh, that's an undersea plateau in the North Sea, which is around 14 fathoms. And it's also the name of a Crown film unit, film from 1945, uh, which is uh, telling you all about the motor torpedo boat to the Royal Navy. Um, I encourage you to go and see it. Somebody's got it up on YouTube. It's only about 20 minutes long. And uh, it's done as a bit of a drama. Uh, as those propaganda films were at the time, but uh, go and have a look at it. Anyway, these uh, I bought these off eBay. Um, I've wanted them since literally the early 80s when they came out, and I do believe that these actually are from the early 80s. I think the guy who sold them probably has had them in a box all that time. Uh, they're still they're made by Skytrex, and they are now sold through Heroics and Ross, so they're still about, and I intend to get a few more as we go. Um, but yeah, anyway, without further ado, oh, just to show you roughly, get the paintbrush in there, that's give you some idea. So, there you go. Um, yeah, what you're looking at there is a German R boat, as it says. Uh, it's a, a diesel powered motor minesweeper. Um, they were used heavily for convoy escorts along the channel. Um, and as the war progressed, more and more flat guns were put on them. Uh, to try and uh, keep our uh, our aircraft at bay. Um, so that's a motor, the diesel motor minesweeper, the run boat or the R boat as we knew it. Moving along, we've got the dreaded S boat. I think, as you can see, this is a later war one, and they came with armoured bridges on these. Uh, these had the Germans had the sensible idea of actually using diesel engines in their boats rather than high octane petrol that the British and Americans used. Um, and I do believe they were metal skinned as well rather than uh, than the wooden boats that again the Royal Navy and the, the US Navy used um, again as the war progressed they got heavier and heavier armaments to try and uh, fend off um, Allied aircraft and this you can tell the difference in size to some of our boats this is uh, a lot smaller it's a, a British uh, MTB with just the two torpedo tubes um, and as you can see, you'll see by the, what it says there, the different gun armament. Later on the, in the war, they had these um, six-pounder quick-firing guns, which, which could be quite uh, lethal, devastating. But earlier on in the war, um, you were lucky if you got one of those on, on one of these size boats. It's only as the weapons became more available, they managed to stick more on them. As you can see, they had the uh, ubiquitous 20mm uh, Orlikon cannon. So, uh, yeah, that's a, a wooden MTB. I've got about four of those uh, in the box I bought. Got about uh, four of these, but the the earlier war larger version. Those I've only got the one R boat. Now this is an Admiralty trawler, uh, the Sir Lancelot. Um, the Royal Navy in both wars, but as we're talking about the Second War, they uh, what they call took out of trade. Obviously, whether they were using merchant ships as armed merchant cruisers or in this case these little trawlers as uh, auxiliary minesweepers and um, coastal convoy protection. Uh, however these ones were actually specifically built for the Royal Navy uh, and they were built on um, plans for a, a late 1930s trawler. So uh, the Royal Navy just put like that bandstand on the top, you know, you'd stick a, stick a gun in there and again a couple of 20 mils when they came available. And they were used again for convoy escort and uh, mine sweeping, and some of them not this not this class. This class never went out of UK waters, but uh, some of the others, uh, they actually went on the Mamance convoy runs. I don't know if they did the Atlantic, but they, uh, I I know that some went up to Mamansk, uh, where they were often used as um, rescue boats. Obviously, you couldn't stop a convoy or you, even a, a destroyer or a merchant or a a um, like a flower class corvette because uh, it would end up with a torpedo in its guts so you know these were usually used as uh, you know they, they didn't there was no way in that, that by that time of the war the Germans were going to surface and use a deck gun um, 
so uh, these were used often to drag unfortunate mariners out of the uh, icy cold uh, Bering Sea. Um, I'll just try and fit these two in just to get some idea of scale. I've got two of these. This is a 4,000 tonne merchantman, so you can see the size of her. Again, there's obviously lots, well, lots, but there's a fair few bits still to obviously go on these. They've not been cleaned up or anything, but it gives you an idea. There's a HMS Salance slot at the side of her, and you can see the torpedo boat. So, you know, it's a fair old chunk of metal, that. So uh, that hasn't got a name yet, so I'll come up with something, as I always do, but uh, oh, yeah, that's uh, you see it's, um, you know, it's a bit of uh, flash and you know, a fair bit of clean-up on these, but um, as usual, you know, they always look fairly daunting when they're just like a slab of metal like this, but uh, you know, once you've got the, once you've got the paint on them, they come to life as always. This is a German coastal um, oil tanker, just a small one. I think she's about four thousand tons. Although well, you could, she could just as well be British. Um, and again, there's more details that've got to be uh, that are in the box that you obviously to come. So yes, this is my uh, one more project to add to the list. But I think it was karma. At the end of the day, I saw them on eBay, and I thought I wanted these for years, and I'd actually been looking only a couple of months ago. So just like the Langtons, it's taken me 30 years to buy them, but I uh, finally got some something that I wanted back in the 1980s. So, yep, this is my project uh, for the uh, for the winter warmer. Um, how far I get, I don't know, because it's still going to have a mix of Langton sailing ships, and uh, obviously my, uh, as you can see here in the background, my naps are still going strong, although. Most of those are somebody else's, <laughs> but you, you get the idea. Still painting naps, still loving it. Uh, but I can't uh, turn my nose up to uh, to these type of things. So yeah, I shall. Uh, I've cleaned up um, the ones actually on the top of the bags are actually more or less cleaned up. They're going to have a go in an ultrasonic bath and get to uh, get a bit more gunge off them and have a primer, and then they can at least sit around and. And I've got five minutes to uh, get some paint on them. So thanks for indulging me, guys. Sorry for the length of the video. And I'll uh, catch you again soon. Cheers.